What's up guys, welcome back. So today we're doing another haul and bringing you guys my third installment of my dream wardrobe series. This is a series where I show you guys some pieces that I've picked up that are just like going to revamp my wardrobe and just kind of make it a little bit more curated. I feel like I'm a person who just goes through so many different chunks of like just trying to figure out like what my actual style is and I feel like I'm finally starting to figure it out and that's pretty much what this series is. My last one was actually a collective haul and it featured tons of Princess Polly pieces in there that I purchased myself but today's video is sponsored by Princess Polly which I'm very excited for because they are honestly a brand that I love. I feel like the thing that makes Princess Polly stand out so much is not only do they have their Princess Polly branded items but they also have a ton of other really popular brands as well as Princess Polly exclusives. I feel like Princess Polly is like really on top of like what's trending at the moment. I'm always scrolling on their website and buying things myself so I'm very excited to share this video with you guys. I also have a discount code which is why I keep looking down because I've got it written on a piece of paper just so I don't forget even though it's the easiest code ever. It's just KC20 and that will get you guys 20% off your order if you want to purchase anything which I think is amazing. 20% off is a good discount code to me. I will let you guys know as well that Princess Polly do offer free Australian Express shipping on orders over $50 and I'm pretty sure they do free returns because I return stuff. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that they do. I'm gonna leave it on the screen. Like and subscribe and let's get stuck in. First piece, actually I should talk about what I'm wearing. First piece, I have to show you guys. I was gonna show you something else, but I'll show you the t-shirt first. As soon as I saw this on the website, I knew I had to have it. I love big baggy oversized t-shirts. They're just what I feel the most comfortable in, the least insecure because I don't have to worry about my arms or like tummy or anything. I feel like I can just be free cramp, hip hop. I don't like band t-shirts or like graphic tees that have like the box and like just the really I'm a graphic tee. Like they look, I don't know how to explain it, like tacky. I like stuff like this that's like, you don't really, you, what does it say? You don't know unless you get up close. Yosemite, I haven't even been there. Name three of their songs. Bet you don't know any. Anyway, they have some really cute t-shirts on there. Probably could have gotten a six and it would have been like a little bit like a less baggy, but I just forget how small I am sometimes but I'm really happy with how this is. Literally the most comfiest thing ever. So I paired this t-shirt with a pair of denim shorts. These are like my favorite denim shorts that I've picked up recently. So these are the Princess Polly brand. They've got like the little leather thing on the back. I don't know what this is about jeans, but when they have this, this leather patch, it just makes them look so much more high-end and cool. So I don't like, look, lame, cool, lame, Cool, it makes a difference, it really does. I picked these up in a size eight, which if you watched my last collective haul with the pair of pants that I bought that were denim, I had to return them a couple times and I ended up getting a size 10 when I'm typically a six or an eight. They were the same Princess Polly brand as these shorts and that just comes down to how I like things to fit. If I got a 10 in these, I think they would have just been a little bit too baggy. These fit so well, really comfy. You guys will see in the try on clips that they're just really flattering um, and I paired it with this t-shirt because I just think it's a really chill and comfy look. Definitely going to be like my go-to in summer. That's why I love t-shirts and just denim shorts. I kind of like laid back like girl next door sort of vibes, but you still feel really comfy because everything's baggy. Baggy is the future. My two other pairs of denim shorts I have in my wardrobe recently, they have a lot more like rips and distressing. So I wanted something that was just like a little bit more clean so I have a variety. And I love that these have a raw hem on them. Definitely going to be a big staple piece in my wardrobe. They are a little bit looser on my waist but I could just put a belt on with them. However, I like to have the room if I wanna have an extra piece of lasagna that day. Next up, we have a little blue crop top. Super cute, might have a little bit of fake tan on it because I literally just tried this stuff on and I have fake tan on. I will be stain removing straight after this video, okay? Don't come for me. So this is another Princess Polly brand piece. I picked this up in a size six. It's got little ties at the front here, which is really cute because as you guys will see in the try on clips, you can kind of crisscross them around, do everything freaky dicky with it. I literally have no waist, I have like no torso, it's ridiculous. I also have no legs, I'm like a gnome. So I don't really have a lot of room to do funky fresh tie ups. You can see that the strings are there, that's all that matters. If you're taller, I bet you can like go crazy with this and do some really fun patterns. I just think this is so cute. I paired this with a little tennis skirt, but this is something that is just going to be paired with so many pieces in my wardrobe. I really love like the vibrant blue color. I don't think I have anything like this kind of color in my wardrobe because I love these styles of tops. You don't have to wear a bra with them. I just feel like they're so versatile and just so easy to pop on. Anything I don't have to wear a bra with, I want in my wardrobe. Even though it is a bright pop of color, um, I feel like it's just one of those pieces that can go with so many different things and it's just going to be so fun and perfect for summer. And of course, I, I must be feeling blue. 
I must have been feeling like there wasn't enough blue in my wardrobe. I feel like this fits perfectly. Did I say this was an eight? This is a size six. I don't remember. I love that the front of the top comes down a little bit further than the back. So it's kind of like a little V situation. I feel like it's so flattering. It's made out of really nice like slinky material, but it is also double lined. And I just think it is so perfect. You guys will see in the try-ons that it is just, it fits like an absolute dream. Like I said, I paired it with a tennis skirt, which I'm going to show you guys. So this is the tennis skirt that I paired with that top. I was going to pair it with this. I'm less likely to pair a crop top with like a mini skirt. And I just wanted to switch it up and I just felt like it totally worked. This is really cute. It would go so cute with this t-shirt, which I'm definitely planning on wearing them together. Extra small and it fits really, really well. I wouldn't go any smaller than this. I just think this is so cute. I personally love a tennis skirt. I feel like they are so on trend and so popular at the moment. And I feel like it's going to be really big in summer here in Australia because we are in spring going into summer. So I feel like pieces like this are just perfect. Just a really nice alternative to wearing like denim bottoms or wearing shorts or something. And I'm someone who doesn't wear a lot of skirts. So I am trying to pick up some more really cute on trend pieces that I can just kind of throw on and pair with things that look like I put a lot more effort into my outfit. Than I actually have. Imagine this pair of sneakers, a little like baseball cap on, cute little ponytail. I feel like that's such a really cute look for summer. Popping up to get your starbies. This is like a really nice thick material as well. It has like a raw hem but it's not the type of material that would like fray and it's not see-through. Like this is thick, heavy duty, really nice quality. And it's actually from the Lioness brand. So that's another really good brand that um, Princess Polly stopped. Moving on now to a really cute set. I didn't actually realize this at first, but the top is one of those tie off tops. I thought it was just like a cute little tank when I saw it on the website and I didn't realize that it was like one of the ones you can just tie like any kind of style. So that is really, really cool. This is a skirt. I am loving this kind of style at the moment with the, this with like the bold, overlocking of like a different color i have a green i have a black top with like green overlocking like this i have got a white top with black overlocking like this i feel like this is a really big trend that we've been seeing at the moment and i just think it is so cool just adds such a different vibe to an outfit it makes it like a little bit more like stylized and trendy that's the skirt very form fitting it does have like a little bit of a peak in the front i picked these up in a size six fit absolutely perfectly and then the top is literally just like a long piece of fabric so you can basically tie this any way you want which i really love i think that is so versatile you could do like a halter neck kind of style you could do bandeau style you can do like make it into like a regular top there's tons of videos online like on tiktok and youtube that you can see like different ways to tie this up but if you guys want me to do one maybe just like a really quick instagram reel or something showing you all the different ways that i tie this top definitely let me know because i can do that it's just a really soft ribbed fabric and it's just really really flattering and there's not really much else i have to say about this but oh my god we're nearly out of lockdown i'm ready to hit the town i will be going to dinner in this and wearing the pair of shoes that I'm going to show you guys next, transitioning perfectly on. So these are the shoes that I was very excited to show you guys. I've got a couple of pairs. These first ones are from Windsor Smith. They have been one of my favorite shoe brands for a very long time. And I actually had a pair of Windsor Smith sandals like this back in 2000 and I want to say 13. I'm not too sure exactly. I literally lived in them. I absolutely adored them. They were different to this. They were like the more flat platformy kind of style probably weren't as high as this but I literally love them I wore them all the time I used to wear them to uni when I was in like my little pink haired slightly gothy phase very mild goth I would say I was still very girly preppy but I was emo nonetheless still am emo at heart I, I think I ended up getting rid of them because more dainty shoes came in style and I was like I'm like Guess I'm kind of lame for wearing these now. I love a chunky shoe like this because I am so short. I want any length that I can get to my legs whatsoever. I hate walking in heels. I find them so uncomfortable and I just love a chunky shoe like this. I just feel like it adds like a bit of grunge, a bit of Spice Girls, a little bit of 90s to like any kind of look. It's very much like the Lizzie McGuire chunky slip on sort of shoe. These are so comfy. I got these in a size six. I do wish that they had a five and a half, but I don't think Windsor Smith do half sizes and I don't don't think they go as small as a five. From what I remember, I've always worn a size six in Windsor Smith shoes because of that. That wasn't going to stop me from getting them because I love them. Want to live my best life in them and they look so cute with that outfit, which is what I paired them with. But I'm going to wear these with long flared pants, with jeans, with dresses, 
they're just gonna be an absolute go-to especially with a little pair of frilly socks when I feel like getting extra preppy these are my favorite so baby spice another pair of Winsor Smith again size 6 I paired them with the tennis skirt and the little blue crop top I just think that is such a vibe they're gonna look so cute with flared pants and flared jeans oh my god these ones are a little bit more cleated on the bottom but I'm so happy that this has come back in trend because my mom and I have always loved chunky shoes like this and chunky heels so much more comfortable like these are heavy it's like kind of walking around with an ankle weight but it's like half a kilo you know what I mean but they're not hard to walk in very easy you feel very stuck to the ground gravity is on your side you're not going to topple over in these you're not going to get sore feet they are very cushioned and like just really comfy a really big trend that I see popping back up short girls we're going to be living our best life so next up for shoes I have a pair of sneakers I think these are really really cool they actually almost look like Marty McFly shoes from like back to the future <laughs> they are a vibe I think they're really cool if you're into like Jordans Nike Dunks all that sort of thing those kind of shoes but you don't want to pay the price tag these are really really cool I did plan to wear them with the blue crop top because I thought they would look really cute together but I just forgot to do that in the try on clips I just think these are really cool I love like the chunky kind of sole on them I also love how high they are they're like a high top kind of sneaker I got these in size 5 they fit perfectly I would wear more of a thin sock with these as well just because they are quite padded inside and because they are like a perfect fit I don't want any more thickness they already fit really really well they're like the perfect sneaker to just tuck the laces into it's a little bit narrow just at this part right here kind of loosen them a little bit more so they're a little bit more like comfy plus I kind of wear my sneakers a little bit loose because I just slide them off my feet. It's re a really, really bad habit. But yeah, you don't have to tie these up because they just will stay on. I personally love wearing sneakers with like just about anything, with dresses, with shorts, with skirts. And anytime I find like a really thick, like, sold sneaker, chunky, love it. So while we're on the topic of shoes, I did pick up a couple of socks, stockings, <laughs> stocking type socks. So I got a white pair and I got a black pair. I feel like these are just like a staple in any wardrobe. I didn't have a pair and I saw them on the website and I was like, yes, sign me up. Yes. I was planning to pair either of these with those chunky shoes, but I will say makes them a little bit more slippery. So I think I'm going to be a bit more selective with what shoes I wear them with just to make sure I don't get a stray pinky toe stuck out the side. But I feel like these would look really cute with a couple pairs of my other sandal style heels that aren't as like slippery especially some of my more like designer looking sneakers these would be really cute not to take away too much from the sneaker but just to add like that sheer sort of sock i have plans on how i'm going to style these but if you are looking for stocking kind of socks i don't know why i keep forgetting what they're called stocking style socks then i definitely recommend these ones because they feel really really soft they're just a good accessory to have. Then last but not least, I picked up a little handbag as well. If you guys remember one of my Princess Polly hauls from like last year, I picked up a pink one of these. So I really wanted to pick up the beige kind of one because I just feel like this is really versatile, goes with so many things. It just goes so cute with like this t-shirt. Like it just goes with anything, anything. Bam, bam, bam goes with anything it's a peter and jane bag i believe um it's got like a little plus sign cross type thing on the front there it's all silver hardware which typically i would prefer gold hardware but i'm like really mixing hardware at the moment like all my jewelry is gold always has been i really don't like wearing silver jewelry but i do like silver when it comes to like bags or even just like chairs like that chair in the back i really wanted a black chair with silver like metal but I couldn't find any and I didn't want to pay for that really expensive one that everyone has so I got that one instead and it was like cheap as chips. I'm just really into like the whole mixing. I feel like it adds to like the, I just went to like the thrift store. I'm too cool to even care about my matching hardware. I am like obsessed with this bag. I personally didn't have a bag that I loved enough to wear every day. Like this would be an everyday bag for me to just chuck on because the nude color it's nylon, so I feel like it doesn't take away from a look by being leather. Sometimes leather bags can be a little bit too much. And I just feel like it's the perfect size. Like, there's a couple of little pockets in here. I've got, like, two little sections here. And then there's a zipper pocket at the back. Perfect for, like, your phone. All the necessary sort of things will fit in here without it being, like, too massive or, like, too much. And just so easy to pair with everything and just quickly chuck and take with you. See ya. I'm out. That's it for this haul, you guys. Those are all the pieces that I had to share with you. I hope that you really liked them. If you want any further info on them, I will leave everything in the description box down below, along with my discount code, which is KC20 for 20% off Princess Polly. Don't forget that they do free shipping for orders 
is over $50 for Australia and that's express shipping as well but they also ship to the US and I'm pretty sure they ship worldwide. Thanks for watching this video you guys and I'll see you in my next one.